Hi everyone, how are you doing? Kamal here and I welcome you all to the hands-on video of Windows 10 Mobile Build 14267.1004. Microsoft has pushed this build as a cumulative update to the first Redstone build which was 14267.1002. So as the minor change in the version, OS version number suggests, it's a minor build, minor uh, change and the build brings bug fixes to some of the issues faced by Windows insiders with the last build as well as it brings a surprise new feature in, uh, in, in form of the visual voicemail for dual SIM devices. So in this video we will talk about our installation experience and we will also share our first impressions of this build as well as we will see a bit of hands-on of this build and finally we can share uh, some of the very visible bugs that we encountered with this build. So let's begin and uh, let's first see how this build we have on a Lumia 950XL. So if we go to uh, check the applications opening time so we can see it's quite okay it's fast we will try to open as many as 16 apps because we have seen that uh, one of the unknown changes or uh, unofficial changes that this build brings 1426 brings is that you can see 16 apps open in the multitasking UI now which was a, like obviously a very big change but Microsoft did not mention it in the official change log but we, we reported it later so we will see this in our hands-on how it looks like so let's see how many uh, apps are already open here so we have 13 already so as you remember uh, till now it was able to support only 8 apps app, app cards open in the background but as you can see now we have been able to open uh, as many as 13 so we will make it 16 and then we will again come back and we will discuss more so till now you could have seen that uh, most I, I mean I have been opening this all apps and these were like op these are opening fine there are no crashes to be seen yet so let's see so let's see whether there are 16 open or not I think we have to open one more okay So as you can see we have as many as 16 apps open in the background now. So this is a, a flagship device with 3GB RAM. So obviously it, it can handle these apps. So let's see how uh, good the resume works. So we will resume Kotana. It's quite fast. We can do that for maybe store. So multitasking was good now we can see how other stuff works so if we go to the settings etc it's all good expanding collapsing So while we were uh, we are not able to see many changes but at least the build works fine 
as this hand and hands on suggests multitasking remains uh, good and obviously this is a device flagship device with 3 GB RAM so it is it has to be good the fast resume works well very well so if you talk about uh, normal scenario or normal uh, you know performance of this OS so it's it's consistent and it does not disappoint in multitasking with these 16 apps so now we can just check uh, how the Microsoft Edge works here on this uh, in on this build actually so we can do a small test as well There seems to be some issue with the connection maybe so we will come back to this but as much we can see it it is like uh, if we talk about our normal hands-on experience and first impression the build looks good we, we did not face many uh, freezes or crashes even the apps are uh, working fine they don't crash as such but we we can tell you that we have to at least uh, do one soft reset so that is really less for a, a build from the fast ring okay so coming to other things like if we talk about installation experience then the build was like the installation experience was quite good for us it was quite uh, easy or like we did not face any hiccups any any issues so it got installed very pretty well and it took around uh, we can tell you 50 to 55 minutes in i mean in spite of being a cumulative kind of build it's a full build so it obviously takes some storage so you have to have somewhere around one point 2GB uh, storage free for installing it. Now coming to uh, bugs, so there are some visual bug, visual bugs that we encountered with this build. And uh, if we go to Edge, in the Edge itself, we can show you a few of the. Okay, so since the HTML test was able to. Okay, we'll come to this. So here you can see this uh, garble test. So this in private is written, uh, I mean the, the, the way it is written is garbled and it seems like a very clear bug here. If we go to settings also, here the download settings again you can see. And you can see the version number which corresponds to the latest build 14267.1004 even we go to advanced setting you can see again the same bug with the text of the uh, of the settings so this this was a very very visible bug that we we saw actually but apart from that, you would not be able to, uh, you know, see many things, many bugs in this build. Uh, one of the issues that it fixed this uh, build one, uh, I mean, one four two six seven point one zero zero four fixed was with Wi-Fi that we were facing. So now Wi-Fi works better, but still there are chances of improvements because sometimes it would not connect. So this is one bug that we found apart from that text bug, garbled text bug that we saw in the Microsoft Edge. And uh, if we talk about, uh, as we said, we encountered one, we have to do one soft reset. So usually with the build 10586, which is stable version, we did not see or we did not have to do uh, any soft reset or any any such, you know, reboot of the device. So here we at least did it at uh, did it uh, one time uh, during our hands on experience. Coming to battery life, the battery life seems OK. Uh, it can't be said to be very good or very excellent or I mean it can't be said to be excellent but it, it works fine uh, while using this device with the build we could uh, tell you that uh, during I mean uh, hands-on we could see that it can last up to like 20 to 24 hours with heavy use with average use or moderate use it can still last maybe like 26 hours 28 hours so it is acceptable but uh, 
we don't think that it's it's uh, giving the same battery life as the as the stable build uh, could have given so that's all about our impressions and experience with this build till now and stay tuned we will bring more more coverage and more about uh, the Windows 10 mobile so thanks for watching